Welcome back YouTube viewers. Today I thought I'd build a model to try and understand both the systems and the mechanisms inside a Boeing 737 MAX 8. This aircraft has a sophisticated so-called glass cockpit made of flat panel displays. On each side of the nose of the aircraft are AOA or Angle of Attack sensors. These are like little wings and they move in the airflow, telling the computer system the angle the plane is at. For Boeing to offer the fuel efficiency the airlines wanted, they needed to fit bigger engines. These larger engines changed the flying characteristics of a Boeing 737. So to try and make the plane easier to fly and to appear as if it was a more traditional 737, Boeing fitted an MCAS system or a Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System. Now these are mainly fitted to fighter aircraft that are inherently unstable in the air and the computer will automatically correct for the instability without the pilots doing anything. It works by driving a trim system that moves the rear elevators on the tail of the plane. Behind the scenes this should automatically compensate for the instability of the MAX 8. So let's go through what happened on that fateful day with the Ethiopian plane. 737 MAX 8 is cleared for taxiing. In front of the pilot is his control column. The engines were revved up, the pilot pulled back gently on the stick and the plane took off. The angle of attack indicator also began to move as the plane rotated. The computer and software inside the MCAS system saw now that the plane had taken off and was flying. And to protect the plane from over-rotating and stalling, automatically trimmed the plane nose down. It did this by moving a long jack screw and moving the elevators at the tail of the plane to push the nose down. The pilot flying the plane that day would have seen an uncommanded nose drop and pulled back on the stick. The MCAS system determined to stop the plane stalling commanded the trim system to keep pushing the nose down. Back in the cockpit, the pilots would have had warnings. Despite their best efforts, the MCAS system continued to push the nose of the plane down. Desperate to stop this uncommanded maneuver, the pilot continued to pull back on the stick. Despite the pilot's best efforts, the plane went into a nosedive and hit the ground at 600 miles per hour. Building a model has really helped me understand how this system works. I hope it helped to illustrate what happened that fateful day. And thanks for watching.